and the end user companies in India who have used and demonstrated the power of technology to radically transform their business and scale new heights. This evening we will honor and felicitate these IT leaders and their respective companies through two award ceremonies. One, the Global CIO 50 Awards. In its survey titled Global CIO 50, Information Week USA identified 50 of the top CIOs from around the world and profiled them for the strategic contributions they make to their companies. Ten CIOs from India made it to the list and we will felicitate them this evening. The other is the EDGE Awards, also known as Enterprises Driving Growth and Excellence Using IT. It is an initiative by Network Computing Magazine to identify, recognize and honor the end user companies in India that have demonstrated the best use of technology to solve a business problem, improve business competitiveness and deliver quantifiable ROI to stakeholders. Network Computing Magazine covers technology trends in the enterprise IT space and it is widely read by CIOs in India. Information Week is the flagship business technology publication from the UBM group and is widely read in the US. Let me invite Mr. Brian Pereira, Executive Editor, Network Computing, to welcome the August gathering. Please. Good evening, CIOs, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy to see you all once again. All through history, man has used technology for survival, making hunting weapons from stone in warfare for powerful weapons in the Industrial Revolution, and now to gain a competitive edge in business. In 2009, we have the best technology at our disposal, but how well are we using it? Let me give you an example. After implementing a technology solution, a leading insurance company saves over rupees 11 crore a year and gain additional revenue of 95 crore. Automation has helped this company expand its business without additional manpower. That's just one example of how a company has leveraged technology to save costs and improve efficiencies and business. This kind of innovation should not go unrecognized. So at the beginning of this year, we at Network Computing Magazine decided to form the Edge Awards. The June 2009 issue lists the success stories of the winners who we facilitate this evening. And here's how we picked the winners. More than 170 companies sent in reports on IT implementations. Based on internal filtering parameters, just 75 companies qualified for Edge. We then selected the 15 best IT implementations and presented this to an external jury who I will soon introduce. The external jury in turn selects the top five Diamond Edge winners based on parameters below. The remaining 10 become Silver Edge winners and the rest, the 60 entries, are Edge winners. The entry parameters were judged on the following, the, sorry, the winning entries were judged on the following parameters. We looked for technology innovation. We looked at the complexity of the problem, the success of the solution, what kind of impact or improvement did it make in market share? What kind of efficiency and productivity improvements did it introduce within the organization? What kind of cost savings were brought about? How did it increase the employee productivity and the criticality of the solution to the overall business? And here are the external jury members. Professor Pradeep Pense, Dean, Melenkar Institute of Management, Mumbai. Mr. Ravi Raman, Proprietor, Samadhan Information Technology Services. Dr. Nanlal Sarda, Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, IIT Bombay. Shushanto Mitra, CEO, 
Society for Innovation and Entrepreneurship, signed IIT Bombay. Thank you. We now get on with the rest of the award ceremony. Thank you, Mr. Pereira. Before we start the presentation of the awards, uh, it's my honor and an utmost pleasure to call on stage Mr. Wim Elfring, Executive Vice President, Cisco Services and Chief Globalization Officer. Sir, can you say a few words, please? Good evening. Welcome, second time, but I have the pleasure to, uh, to address you. Um, you know, yesterday for me the opening session uh, was much more easy. Um, I could address engineers, uh, I'm an engineer, uh, but tonight uh, I want to address uh, probably the people who have one of the toughest jobs in today's industry. Uh, people who have to make technology relevant. And, you know, it's a great pleasure tonight uh, to be with you and to honor those people who have done that remarkably successful. And I, I really uh, want to reach out uh, to those people tonight. And so uh, a couple of words around the context uh, about, let's, let's, let's call it also the future of, uh, of the CIO jobs. And that's, uh, I always call uh, our CIO, uh, Rebecca Jacoby, my business partner. Um, that, that we don't talk about what you do, what I do. Uh, it's really a business relation. And if you think about it, uh, that technology as an enabler, and I painted yesterday morning in uh, the opening session uh, the role that technology can play as an enabler, uh, but the CAO making it relevant, uh, I, I think, is what it's all about. Um, and if you, if you think about all kinds of trends, uh, we could talk about uh, the future of work, uh, we could talk about the future of connectivity, and we could talk about the future of computing, um, but that relevance, how do you translate that basically in services, either in productivity improvement or value creation, I think is what it's all about. Um, and there again, uh, if, if you look at, I would say, the two mega trends that I really want to address, and that is first what I outlined yesterday uh, to more the, the technology people and what we call uh, the internet of things, the industrialization of the internet and the fact that everything will be connected in the future and everything that will be connected can give intelligence and can be green. And that is, I think, the overriding agenda nowadays. An overriding agenda is sustainability. A sustainability from an economic point of view, sustainability from a social point of view, inclusive growth, but also within enterprises, how can everybody benefit from technology? And then thirdly, and probably the most important political agenda of this decade, and being culminated in Copenhagen later this year, and when we talk about climate change, uh, environmental behavior. Uh, but you can't see those three things in isolation. And what I'm predicting to you tonight, um, to the winners um, of people who can use technology most relevant, um, your job is even going to be bigger. It's going to be even more relevant. Uh, because if you embrace that concept of the Internet of Things, and of the industrialization of the Internet, and, and that the network will be the platform and everything will be connected, it's not just about computing. It's not just about voice. And, and you know, you remember the days where we had these uh, sessions with CIOs, and we said, but you 